What's this long line in New York City? People waiting for a Broadway show? No, they're waiting in line to use a public toilet in a park. People want to use this toilet because it's clean. Attendants clean it all the time. 30 something times a day. When I hear the words public bathroom, yeah. I have a bad feeling. A lot of people say that. For instance, this one lady was out there and she was like, I don't want to go in there. So I said, come, and I took her in. And when I took her in, she was like, oh my God. This bathroom's nice only because it's in a different kind of park, one managed privately by this man. 37 years ago, Dan Biederman persuaded city politicians to let him run this park. He got money from nearby businesses and tried innovative things like playing classical music in the bathrooms. It's just another of the elements along with flowers and the recessed lighting and the artwork that makes people think they're gonna be safe there. Safe's an issue because this park's in the middle of the city and crime rose in New York as police made fewer arrests. But there's little crime here. Crime thrives in dark corners, and this park's filled with people and the businesses that pay for the park. Thank you. A park is supposed to just be public, not all this business. You can't, in the current state of things, have passive space, as we call it. There are too many people circulating who are violent or emotionally disturbed. To discourage that, he fills his park with activities, free ice skating, ping pong, juggling lessons, yoga classes, movie nights, and concerts. When lots of people use a park, crime is less of a threat. You still have homeless people, I imagine, coming here. As long as they follow the rules, we treat them as any other visitors. He does have trouble with some drug users. This guy just takes his clothes off, throws it on the floor. People on K2 tend to take their clothes off. What do you do when he takes his clothes off? Our guards are well trained to handle such incidents. They guide people like that out of the park. For the most part, people comply. Biederman didn't want to hire armed guards. Instead, he hires large men who walk around in uniforms. The fact that people just see us, that's good enough. It makes them feel safe. Can't right. smoke in the park, all right? Okay, okay, you Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. No, it's all right. Nine times out of ten, they listen. The result is a park that's really nice. 12 million people come here every year. And none of this costs the taxpayer a penny. Not only does it not cost them a penny, but the increased real estate taxes paid by the surrounding buildings, which is 33 million a year. Why can't governments do this? They could do all of this. But they don't. They do at times. There are things I could point to that somehow government got done. Conservatory Garden, you know it in Central Park. Nice job. But Central Park is largely run by private charity, one I happen to work with. Before we started managing the park, the government let this happen. Governments rarely spend much effort on routine tasks like maintenance and trash management. A typical thing for parks departments to do is uh, take old oil drums, take the top off them and use them as trash cans. Oil drums are really ugly. So what does that say to the public? He installed trash cans like these. They signify that somebody cares. It takes a lot of those little things to make a park safe and appealing. This is an accumulation of that kind of detail. About 20, 30, 40 things like that. Plants are really well laid out by our horticulturist and well maintained. And of course, there's that bathroom. One of my first Stossel TV videos was a report on this Parks Department bathroom that cost, get this, $2 million. The city parks commissioner wasn't even bothered by that. $2 million was a good deal. But you can buy whole houses for, in that neighborhood for less than what you spent on this bathroom. I hear that point often, and if you look at the material that we use compared to a home, these are very, very durable material. Yet Bryant Park's much nicer bathroom is just as durable, but it costs much less. Government work is slowed by civil service rules, and this city's politicians happily pay high union wages. This is a city that does believe strongly in labor, and they want to make sure that people get paid a prevailing wage. When government does things, everything costs more and is less well-maintained. Today, that $2 million bathroom is missing a sink. 
the moral, whenever possible, let the private sector do it. Yeah, I'll see you, brother. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click that button to help us make more. Thank <laughs> you.